What's up everybody? So today we're gonna talk about what happens whenever you're on air and you speak about Jesus, all right? This Check this out. is the real footage, but this is the tampered footage. Andre, congratulations. How do you turn this around? Man, first off, I need uh, the first thing my Lord saved you. It's man, just... The issue with sin, it, 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 it makes wow. us, our sin that's in us makes us do those things. And the only, Oof. the only salvation for this sin is the gospel. The only way to really cure that what's on the inside is understanding that Jesus Christ died for our sins. And so th to me, on a micro level, it's understanding. It. Yep. And just like that, we lost him. I know. I Masters champion, Bubba Watson. <laughs> And then second, I gotta thank uh, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> this day means so much more than, than putting on this green jacket in many ways. All right, so a uh, technical glitch there from Augusta National, but we will bring you much more of uh, Bubba Watson. It's kind of weird, right? Now look, now let's see what happens whenever you talk about Satan? Next. That could be good, couldn't it? Um, uh, thank you to uh, Satan for giving me inspiration on how to play this role. I kind of get possessed by the devil when I'm performing. I like head banged so hard that I got concussion, um, <laughs> which is funny. Which um, passages of scripture should guide our public policy? Should we go with uh, Leviticus, which uh, suggests slavery is okay? Or we could go uh, with uh, Deuteronomy, which suggests stoning your child if he strays from the faith? Or should we just stick to the Sermon on the Mount, a passage that is so radical that it's doubtful that our own Defense Department would survive its application? Folks haven't been reading their Bible. All right. Something is going on here, right? It's kind of weird. Why is it you get cut off the air when you speak about Jesus by multiple people, right? But then when you speak about Satan, nothing happened. Is this a coincidence, right? So the Bible says that Satan is the God of this world. So think about it. If you're the God of this world, that means that you can manipulate governments, you can manipulate the entertainment industry, and anything for your will, right? But this is the thing, bro. Satan loves to try to deceive people and he does stuff hidden in plain sight, right? But the thing is, he would have people to laugh at it. Laugh at it to, to kind of minimize what it's going on, you know, whenever you laugh at it. But look, ask yourself this. Why is it that the government can push abortion and, and transgender views on your kids and nobody says nothing about it, right? But the second that you speak about God, they use the phrase, I'm, I'm pushing my religion on you. I'm doing the same thing you're doing. I'm speaking about it. And actually, if we want to be clear, like you're the one pushing it, pu pushing this stuff in schools, pushing Satanism after school, Satan and all of this, you're pushing it. But this is the thing, bro. This is how Satan deceives people with these little stuff like this. Like, if I want to hide the truth, what am I going to do? I'm going to put it right in front of your face and I'm going to use a mockery of it. Why is the only word that's mocker, that's mocked is Jesus Christ? Like, you ever hear when somebody get irritated, why do they say Jesus Christ? They can say any other name in the book, but why Jesus? You see what I'm saying? Another thing is hitting right in front of your face. And I'll be making these videos to try to simplify it to where a three-year-old can understand it's obviously a tack on jesus but whenever anybody talks about satan like look at this 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 person did did a mockery of jesus this person did a mockery of jesus all of this stuff is happening and they're mocking god but whenever satan like satanism is everywhere and nobody says nothing about it the bible says that satan blinds the minds of those that don't believe and this is what we have going on so I'll be making these videos to try to open people up, um, open their mindset to it, because at the end of the day, all I can do is plant the seed. You know what I'm saying? Somebody else will come and water it. And at the end of the day, God is going to give the increase in his timing. All right. I want you all to share this video. I want you all to comment down below and send this video to somebody, anybody that don't believe. All right. Because that's what the whole point of all of this is. I'm not just making videos for fun. I want to wake people up to this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Comment down below y'all thoughts. All right. Love y'all.